congratulations. You're just a few steps away from enjoying the benefits of your new Pleasant Hearth fireplace glass doors. This video will guide you through the installation process and have you relaxing in front of your fireplace in no time. Before we start, remove all contents from the carton and place the glass doors on a flat, padded surface to avoid damaging the finish. To prevent frame damage, always lift the door by the sides, not the top frame. Check the hardware included in your carton against the parts list. If any part is missing, please contact our customer service department at the number on your screen. Before beginning the installation, check your fireplace to make sure it is cool. Newly built fireplaces often contain a residue of acid used during construction. If this acid is not removed, it can cause red spots or rust. Ask your builder if your fireplace has been neutralized. If it hasn't, refer to your owner's manual for instructions on how to do this. Preparing your doors for installation. Before we begin, you will need a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver, a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and a pair of gloves. Okay, let's get started. Step one, mount the door handles. Using the screws provided on the handles, attach the left and right door handles to the glass doors. Step two, riser bar installation. A riser bar is included in your carton, but many fireplaces don't require it. If your fireplace opening height matches the dimension shown, do not attach the riser bar. If the riser bar is required, refer to your owner's manual for instructions before continuing. Step three, apply the fiberglass insulation. Be sure to wear gloves when applying the insulation to avoid skin irritation. The heat resistant fiberglass insulation is designed to protect the metal finish of your frame. Some parts of the insulation may remain exposed to the inside of the fireplace, which is normal and should not be of concern. Separate the 3-inch and 2-inch fiberglass pieces into three strips each by peeling them from one end. On the back of your glass doors are four channels. Measure the dimensions of each channel and use your scissors to cut the insulation to length. Place an insulation strip into each channel. It is not necessary for the insulation to fill the channels to their full depth. Installing your fireplace glass doors. Before you attach the doors to the fireplace, locate the lintel bar, which is the L-shaped angle iron supporting the bricks along the top of the opening. If the width of your lintel bar is less than 3 inches or more than 4 inches, refer to the alternative mounting method in your owner's manual. To determine the proper bracket assembly for your fireplace, measure the distance from the bottom of the lintel bar to the bottom of the fireplace. Use this measurement to determine where the lintel bar will line up with the slotted brackets on the back of your frame. If the measurement reaches the top of the slotted brackets, assemble the key bracket with the T-head facing upwards. If the measurement is not the same height as the slotted brackets, assemble the key bracket with the T-head facing down. Attach the key bracket to the lintel clamp with the 1 quarter 20 by 1 quarter inch machine screw, but do not tighten. Then, thread the 1 quarter 20 by 2 inch thumb screw into the lintel clamp. Do not tighten the thumb screw. Place the T head of the key bracket into the slotted bracket under the back of the door and turn the bracket assembly to the horizontal position. Repeat this on the opposite end. Center the doors against your fireplace opening. If you are unable to hold the doors tightly against the fireplace, ask someone to assist you. Reach inside the fireplace and slide the lintel clamp back or forward until the lip of the clamp is firmly against the lintel bar. Then tighten the machine screw. Making sure the doors are firmly against the fireplace, tighten the thumb screw until the doors are secure on top. Repeat this on the opposite end. Insert the 1 quarter 20 by 3 and a half inch thumb screw into the pressure bracket. Then insert the pressure bracket into the pair of holes closest to the side of the fireplace opening. Making sure the thumb screw is pointing towards the side wall of the fireplace, tighten the thumb screw into the wall. Repeat this on the opposite end and you're done. Now that you've successfully installed your new fireplace glass doors, you can sit back and enjoy the wonderful new addition to your home. 
Always keep your glass doors open when burning a fire to prevent the doors from shattering. Be sure to wait until the glass is cooled before cleaning your fireplace doors. Cleaning the doors while they're hot may cause the glass to break. For full warranty information, usage instructions, and proper cleaning and maintenance procedures, please refer to your owner's manual or visit www.ghpgroupinc.com.